is joining us live. He's at the Hilton Bonnet Creek uh, with a closer David. look at the Academy of Etiquette and Protocol. Hi, David. Hello, the uh, Academy is run by Julie Dern, Amy, and uh, enrollment begins for summer camps in June. Good morning, Julie. How are you? Good morning. Fine, thank you. $500 your kid gets in for the week, 40 hours. That includes lunch and formal dinners and all the manners and dancing and etiquette you could possibly need to be a success in life. So let's have a quiz this morning, and I've got all four of you on the couch. i got a question for each of you. Let's start with you, Bob. Silverware on the table when you're eating at a nice restaurant. Yeah. How do you indicate to the server that you are done? Done. Where should your silverware be? Uh, on the plate. Done. <laughs> Specifically, where on the plate? Oh. In, in, in the middle, across, ways. <laughs> in the middle, like <laughs> bisecting the plate. Let me rescue you, Bob. Julie, what's the proper way? Here we go. American style, your knife is going to be resting on the tip top of the plate with the cutting edge towards the diner. The fork is going to be in the 10 o'clock, 4 o'clock position. That's I am resting. I am finished. Simply take the knife back and put it parallel to the fork. That is the I am finished position. The server knows whether to take it away. Got it. So knife next to the fork when you're done. Otherwise, you are still eating. All right, Amy, this is for you. Are you ready? <laughs> what's the difference between a oval spoon and a soup spoon when you're eating soup. So an oval soup oh. spoon and a regular soup spoon. What's the difference? Oh, oh. You're, so you're saying there are two different kinds of soup spoons. Is that what you're saying? Correct. Yes. Oval That's right. And right. The oval uh, and the round. One of them is to scoop my butter and drop it in my soup. Hmm. No, I just made that up. I have no idea. That sounds interesting. The what difference is how. What an idea. We're being polite here. Most restaurants, most restaurants only have one or the other. La Luci has this oval. That's for broth soup. The round soup spoon is for cream soup. Ah, there we go. Fascinating. Nice. All right, Ryan. How do you twirl your spaghetti noodles, Ryan? How do you twirl your spaghetti noodles? Counterclockwise. Uh, yeah, I would. I would say counterclockwise, kind of in a, in a circle there. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing, David? <laughs> I what do you use to oh, twirl so your spaghetti it. noodles? That's Bob's fault. You only have one, I just the mind. fork that would be directly to your left, right? And your knife. Oh, Ryan gets it right. So you don't use a spoon. You don't use a spoon. Most uh, most people will give you a big spoon to twirl your spaghetti noodles on. You never use it. You twirl your noodles directly on the plate. Very good. Nice job, Ryan. All right, Daniel. Finally, <laughs> what do you do with the paper packets and the uh, butter foils that you have on your table? What do you do with the trash when um, you uh, pour your your sugar into the coffee? Um, I just set it back on the table, she David. Puts it under the table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. I Mondes just put it back chair. on the. I, she takes her gum, puts it <laughs> under the chair, and then sticks it to that. <laughs> Here's the proper answer. Go ahead, Julie. Once you use the paper packet, you just simply hide them and tuck them under the plate. Oh. Hide them. Get that nastiness out of the sight. Yeah. Out of sight, Academy out of mind. Academyofetiquette.com is the website. Academyofetiquette.com is the website. And they are enrolling for June summer camps. Get your kids in the now. Joe, thanks for your Thank time you. this morning. Great I appreciate to be it. Here. Back to you on the studio. We had better enrol. We're a bunch <laughs> of Yes, right? My Thanks, goodness. Guys. <laughs>